Hank currently makes $18.25 per hour and is going to receive a 6% raise. What is Hank's raise per hour round to the nearest cent? To find the raise per hour, we need to find 6% of $18.25. Let's write this as a question. To find the percent of a number, we convert the percent to a decimal and multiply. If we let the variable r equal the raise per hour, we can say that r is equal to 6% as a decimal is 0 0.06 and then times 18.25. 0 0.06 times 18.25 is equal to 1.095. We're told to round to the nearest cent because we have a five in the thousandths place value, we round up by adding one to nine. Nine plus one is 10. We perform an exchange, which gives us 1.10. So the raise is approximately $1.10 per hour. More formally, using keywords to write an equation, what represents the unknown, the variable r, is means equals, 6% as a decimal is 0 0.06, of means multiplication, giving us times 18.25. So now we know Hank's raise is $1.10 per hour. Next, what is Hank's new hourly wage round to the nearest cent? There are a couple ways of doing this. One way is to simply add the raise per hour to the current hourly wage of $18.25, which would give us W is equal to $18.25 per hour plus $1.10 per hour, which gives us $19.35 per hour. Another way to answer the question would be to determine 106% of $18.25. Let's write this as a question. We have 106% here because 100% represents 100% of the starting wage per hour and then plus an additional 6% per hour, which gives us 106% of the beginning wage. And again, to find the percent of a number, we convert the percent to a decimal and multiply, which gives us W, the new hourly wage is equal to, 106% as a decimal is equal to 1.06 times 18.25. Going back to the calculator, 1.06 times 18.25, rounded to the nearest cent, gives us $19.35. Or again, as an equation, what represents the unknown, the variable w, is means equals, 106% is 1.06 of means multiplication, giving us times 18.25. Whichever method we use, we now know Hank's new hourly wage is $19.35 per hour. I hope you found this helpful.